Okay, so I just tested some of the international hollow point frangible ammo, the ICC. It's the International Cartridge Corporation, to be precise. Here's the bull the ammo. One second, if I get the focus on on here. Oh, I'm zoomed in, that's why. No wonder nothing was looking right. So here's the uh, ammo and what's left of the bullet. This is the box. My leg's shaking, sorry. Here is the damage path. Let me show you this. Take that away from there a little bit. Actually did pretty well. I don't know what that junk is that I made in my jail. Somehow I dropped some paper in there or something. There was another piece that actually came out right here. Don't know where I set that. But anyways, let's take a look at this stuff. Let's take a look from the side. I shot a, about a centimeter higher than I wanted to, but here's the damage it did to the front part. Who knows how far those top fragments would have gone if they... Well, actually, it stopped right at the stop of the gel, so I highly doubt it would have gone much farther. It pretty much fragmented immediately upon impact. You can't really tell from here because there's a curved edge on this mold. But the damage it did, it did this kind of, you know, spiral cut the whole way through. I recently tested a uh, Extreme Shock Fang Face 380. And it just did that thing the whole way through. It wasn't even worth documenting. By the way, uh, the Fang Face, which I think they know, the real company long, no longer makes Extreme Shock Fang Face. Anyways, this is the International Cartridge Company 380 Hollow Point Green Light Frangible Ammunition. And it's pretty impressive. I mean, it, it did pretty damn well. I mean, where's my tape measure here? By the way, here's my, uh, this is the, uh, Glazer, uh, 380, uh, silver safety slug, and it's pretty damn impressive as well. Actually, more impressive by far, because it didn't fragment until about three inches in, which is ideal, because you want it to fragment and then issue that hydrostatic shock inside of the internal cavities that hydrostatic shock or that you know that temporary stretch cavity as people call it actually can cause ruptured capillaries in even up to the brain when it happens inside internal organs uh there's a whole write-up on that you can look it up on uh wikipedia or the those two doctors that did a write-up on uh the strauss uh you know goat test the straussburg goat tests the PhD. I have the names of them. I can add that to it later here in a minute. Anyways, back to the test at hand. Not nearly as impressive, but still, the wounding cavity of it is pretty damn big. Let me get you a kind of a good shot here somehow. See if I do that, if I can, you can see it. I mean, it's just a big, it's really cool. It's a spiral wound. I'll take some photographs here. It'll probably come out better. But as you can see, it does a big chunk, like right here. And then it just does this big spiral cutting action. And as you can see, it shattered. Those fragments went about three inches in. Unlike, you know, this guy who, obviously, for all intents and purposes, is the better round, you really have to admit. Unless you're going for that you know, this, the end of this round, that little broken, the piece there without the tip on it anymore, traveled the full, what, 14 inches of the gel? 16 inches, maybe? No, 12, 13 inches of this thing. Pretty good. Um, let's give you some other kind of view on here. Let me do something here. See if we can get something from this angle. There you can see the big cavity it did and the spiraling that it does. 
how it goes from a big cavity to spiraling. It's all dirty on that side. Let's do it from over here. Unfortunately, this is my homemade 10% almost clear ballistics gel. Not quite as good as the perma gel, but it works. I'll take some photographs after this just to show you more. But there's that cavity. Pretty good. Anyways, that's International Cartridge Corporation 380 hollow point frangible ammunition. There's the bullet that was left over. So, not too bad really. See ya.